Hey guys, we're at Walmart today. I'm gonna meet a friend from college. He's trying to learn how to fish for the first time, so I'm gonna help him get started. Hey yo, we got Rahid here. <laughs> hey, hey, unfortunately I came yesterday and noticed a lot of stuff is uh, out of stock, as you can yeah. see. The Ozark Trail ones, these are basically made by Walmart. It's a Walmart brand. Yeah. And they're gonna be cheaper. Yeah, so for sizing, uh, it's three. this is three aught. And so these are for bigger hooks. The larger the number, the larger the hook. And if it's number two, number three, then the, the larger the number, the smaller the hook. For beginners, the $10 Zebco spin cast mm -hmm. or spinning or whatever yeah. reels, re combos are good. So for beginners, definitely recommend the spinner bait. Another good bait to have is the inline spinner into the cart. Add to cart. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. This is what we got. For beginners, I suggest a cheap fishing combo, spinning combo. Yep, that was like $30, not so cheap. Recommend small bait holding hooks, bait holder hooks. Um, this is for live bait, like live worms. And then we have soft plastic worms. These are soft plastics that go on larger hooks. Uh, the hooks for the soft plastics. Spinner baits are really good for beginners and it's really easy to use. And this is one dollar. Trout magnet hooks, trout magnets, and the bobbers so well for a small fish. Split shots whenever you need to um, add some weight to your lure. Very useful. Inline spinners, good for all types of fish, and also easy to use. All right, let's get you started. <laughs> what was that? What was that? What we got there? What? Tennis oh, balls. tennis balls. <laughs> Guys, quick update. We're going pro now. Okay, so. Got his uh, two sections mm -hmm. uh, connected. Mm -hmm. Now we just, uh, good thing about these, it's, it comes with line, so we don't have to spool line on it. Yeah. So let's just pull the line out. And through these uh, guides, these are called guides. Mm -hmm. So the line goes through these all the way to the tip. Yep. So we're gonna start off with something that's like slightly heavier. Mm -hmm. And to tie it on, you get your line, yep. thread it through the little hole. Yeah, bring it back and then twist against itself against the main line. So you want to make about six to seven twists. Actually seven to eight. This continues. Yeah, keep twisting it. Once you get used to it, you're gonna do it a lot faster. And now you're trying to figure out how to hold it and stuff. Eight, okay. Yep. Put that tip mm -hmm. back through this loop that you created on the bottom. Now hold on to that with this hand and pull here. Now it's tightening down on itself. Uh, usually when you get to the end, you want to have some water spit on there to moisten it up. Mm -hmm to lubricate it basically, get less friction mm -hmm. so that you don't damage the line. There you go, mm -hmm. and you're ready to go. So these are treble hooks. This is three hooks on one. Ah. So this is, you gotta be really careful with this because you can easily hook yourself. So when handling this type of lure, you gotta be very careful. And when you're handling fish, after catching them on this type of hook, you wanna use pliers to get them out. Uh, so you don't want to you don't want the fish to flop around and then get the hook inside your yeah. hand. That would be not fun. Alright, as y'all may know, this is location C. First time fishing, so we're going to come here. Um, it's a smaller body of water. Fish, fish are more packed here, so it's easier to catch. And also there's spots where you can, uh, there's a lot of clearance. There's not a lot of trees on the side, so you won't get it in the tree. This weather, fishing is about like enjoying the outdoors. This is crazy. It was so windy yesterday. It was probably one of the strongest uh, winds that we've gotten in a while. Here. Off your feet? Yeah. <laughs> you were outside? Yeah. Dang. I was like walking around my work. Like, it takes a mile to walk around the entire building, right? Okay. And then by the time the wind started blowing, I was just like, yo, oh, and I like, dang, lift it off. Like, oh, <laughs> you wow. lift off the Superman. <laughs> Dude, it was wild. T minus three, and we have lift off. One common thing with beginners is they have a strong relationship with trees <laughs> and tree branches. You got some baby geese. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, cute ones. Whoa, 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 chill. Hey, say no to bullying. Oh, I guess like that one's protecting the babies maybe. So cute. So fluff, so much fluff. These are floofers. It's a shallow, flat area. Mm -hmm. So um, there's not a lot of logs or 
uh, tree branches for you to hang up on or, or even rocks really yeah. so it's a good practicing spot today is windy so it's not ideal definitely not ideal you want to hold it like between your middle finger and your ring finger mm -hmm. like so reel up your lower mm -hmm. to like about a foot also your um bale yeah the section of the bale this is the bale uh -huh. uh it basically it basically opens or closes your spool of line yeah so you if you open you hold open yeah. it hold it yep then line goes freely so that's when you release and wh whenever you want to reel back close it uh -huh. manually don't turn it close it manually uh -huh. and then start reeling back yeah. to cast trigger finger trigger or finger your like line. pointing finger, pointing finger pull on it don't don't yeah don't pull don't it pull it all the way towards the, yeah. the rod just just enough a little bit of taut yeah left hand on the bottom if you're a beginner, I recommend the side cast. So you just swing it back in the side. Yeah. And then you're using your left and right arm as like a lever, right? right. Once you release, uh -huh. your finger just comes off. You just open up your finger, okay. straighten up your finger, let yeah. the line loose. Gotcha. So cast. Then I close the bale. Mm -hmm. Tighten up the line. You can either pull it or you can like strain it a little bit. Yeah. Then reel it back in. Reach it with your index finger. So yeah, uh -huh. and then open up the bale. So you're ready to release the line. Mm -hmm. Hold it. Yep. Other hand. Uh -huh. Side to side on the side. Ooh. So when you release, you want to open up your finger. All right, all right. Okay. Now close the bale. Okay. Sometimes it will be very loose on your reel, yeah. and you don't want that because that's how you get like bird's nest and stuff. So you just um. Oh shoot. Oh, dog. Okay. <laughs> um, and then try to make sure the line is like pretty straight, tight. It's not a fish, is it? I think you're stuck. Okay, hold on. How you know it's not a fish is when when nothing happens. Nothing it's happens. just it's stuck on something. When, when you when you fish more, you'll get used to um, the feeling. Okay, you want you might want to step back. I think this is lost cause, unfortunately. <laughs> so okay i think we have to clip the line all right now close the bale all right there you go that's that's your first cast and that was a little bit high so you release a little bit soon so you can adjust and release a little bit later nice See that? Ooh, you almost got fish. See that? See how it's working? Yeah. So cast far again? Okay, we're gonna think he's close to getting a fish. Once you get a fish biting, you see it, it's in the mouth. Yeah. Rod tip up, set the hook. Release later. This is the patience part yeah. of fishing. This, this is stuff I enjoy. Yo, you, you like this? I actually love the patience part. People will be like, they hate like having to wait. I mean, I don't mind. Yeah, just taking the taking the sunlight, taking, taking the, sunlight, the breeze. Yeah. yeah. Let me let me show you. Mm -hmm. So I, there should be fish here. Smooth. Okay, close the bale. Pull, reel. And maybe there's just no fish here. We can try the other side over here. Yeah. But the thing is, like, there's a lot of branches yeah, there. Okay, let me cast it for you. It's gonna to come to you, so you just you just reel, okay? So so get closer, so it's not. Yeah. Where'd the bobber even go? Is it in the water? Where's the bobber? You have a fish! You have a fish! You have a fish! It's the best, reel. Not too fast, not too fast, you got it. It took it, we didn't even realize. I right, rod tip further, further out. So reach the fish. Oh, it's, wait, 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 calm, calm, it's on the branch. Uh -huh. Okay, okay, hold on, let me, let me take it from you. Yeah, it from you. Okay, so you don't want to reel when it's on, on a branch, it's gonna get it off. Yeah. So, okay, here, take it. Uh-huh, did you reel it in? Uh, yeah, reel, 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 up, 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 there you go! Oh, you got it fast, cool. dude! Dude, your first oh. fish is a bass? That's crazy! Dude, this is great! Dude, my friend has tried for a year and he had like more than a year, he couldn't get a bass. This is your first fish. 
Dude, this is so wonderful. That's crazy. Next step is how to handle a bass. How to handle it. Use a thumb, uh -huh. grab here. Jesus Christ. Grab onto the, 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 the bottom jaw. Uh-huh. And you just hold it like that. And you take your hook out, there's a little bass. And why don't you try holding it? Yeah, good. There you go. There's your fish. Oh my God. Look at that, you can let that go. All right. And then to release, you just, for smaller fish, you can just like toss it in there low, uh -huh. like very low. Yeah. And for larger fish, you want to actually like put it in the water. Yeah, but good. this, you can just toss it in. Uh -huh. So very low, like very light, just so it doesn't slam in the water. Okay, you, that was, n bruh, you just like, <laughs> you just spun it. That's not what I meant by like a light toss, dude. <laughs> dude. Oh, whoops. That's my bad. Look at this weather, man. Look at this. Like, it's so blue. Yeah, it's beautiful. Beautiful. Look at these flowers. Just like, swing it out. <laughs> they still got it. Got it. It got it. It got it. Yeah. Reel in, reel in. It got it already. Reel in. There you go. Yeah, I got another one. <laughs> Bluegill. You see the spines? Yeah. Dangerous. Grab, like, grab from the top mm -hmm. and just like smoothly go down to lay all the spines down. Yeah. Pull out the hook mm -hmm. and then there's your fish. Oh god, how am I supposed to do this? Okay, hold on. Hold on. Okay, there's like no way for me to grab this thing. Okay, so see this thing? Yeah. Look, look. No! No! <laughs> Yo, I was trying to show you how to like use the other hand. Like I was trying to show you how to grab it. It just went crazy. It went crazy. All right. Well, no problem. You can get another one, bigger one. Yeah. And that way it'll be easier to demonstrate. Okay, you got it. You got it. You got it. Good. All right. Don't reel all the way. This is actually a crappie, third species. All right. All right. Now release it carefully this time. Don't flip it. <laughs> Let's see how you release. All right, there you go. Yo, this, these guys over there, they're catching carp. It's crazy how it's pulling on the line. Whoa, you see that bobber going? Dude, I wish I could get a fish that big. Oh man, that's so exciting. Oh, dude, that's oh big. my gosh, that is big. Whoa, look at the size of that fish. That's crazy. Oh my gosh, whoa. Yo, look at that. Thank you for showing me this, this carp. That's awesome. What do you think about today's adventure? Oh, definitely fun time. <laughs> uh, first time learning to cast. Did not anticipate catching three fish. So there's always that. And we'll uh -huh. go up from here. All right.